Hey guys, it's Doug. So over the last few lessons, we have been talking a lot about Firebase, social network apps, and most apps now today, how do they work with backend, frontend, and server, and database. And we talk about how to design your login screen and sign up screen. We talk about how to create the Firebase reference, how to upload images and profile picture. In this lesson, let's put all of those together and we create the sign up, I'm sorry, the user class so that we can use all the information that like we use reference, we use the upload photos and we create the users and upload that to Firebase and test those. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Let's get into our demo. Let's go ahead over our project right here and then I'm going to right click into the model, new file and have Swift file. So over the Swift file, let's have the user class. Oh, by the way, Let's cancel this thing, okay? So I already have the user class over here. Huh. So let's use this thing. We have a struct. So let's, instead of a struct, let's use a class. I'm going to explain that in just a moment. And then we have a var username. Let's use that as a string because it's required. And then let's have let UID is a string too. The reason why I said it is a let for UID is because each user only has one single UID and it is going to be unique for every single user and it is going to be set only once. No one can set that twice, okay? And then we have the profile image. We have, let's say we have var full name is a string too. Because if you look at, look at our storyboard over here, right, the storyboard, where's the storyboard? Here we go. So the storyboard and our logins and sign up. We ask the user to put in the email address, the full name, and the username, right? So we need some uh, some of that information. So let's go ahead and let's go back into the user class. How about let's have our var uh, email address. Email is a string too, like this. Cool. Okay. So let's have um, let's have the initializer for our user class. So in it, with the UID is a string, the username is a string, the profile image is a UI image, and let's have our, was that email is a string, and full name is a string, like this. And then here, it's just become a drill. UID equals UID self dot uh, UID, username equals username, self dot profile image equals profile image oops profile image and self dot email equals the email and finally self dot full name equals to full name like this okay email string yeah everything should be good all right uh -huh. oh we have something over here okay so it will ask us to change some of the things here so let's go ahead i'm going to change some of the things here okay so these errors, it's because our user, the initializer is changed. So all I have to do is I'm going to have another init. Okay, I'm going to have another dummy init like this. So I'm going to have init. UID is a string like that. Um, let me find out about that error. Okay. All right. So by default, my dummy image, my dummy data for the model, it just requires to have the username and the profile image. Okay, so I'm going to have that uh, just for our prototype because as you can see that the, the data that we have currently at our Instagram app, right, it is just the data typed. So, so let's have the init, the username is a string and the profile image is UI image like this. And then I'm going to copy paste this whole thing over here, like that. And then the UID, I'm going to put that as an empty string. Username is that, profile image is that. Uh, email address is an empty string. And full name is an empty string, like this. Okay, so that we have it. Now, this thing is just for our dummies, just for our kind of like um, dummy data for the prototype. So let's talk about another thing. The next thing I want to talk about is how we can save the user information. How we can save the user information. The way that we can save the user information is, number one, we have to save the profile image first. 
And number two, we are going to turn all of these informations, that is the string, the numbers, the uh, doubles, the falling point numbers, the true or false, those kind of uh, um, that primitive data into a dictionary. Okay, so here is how it works. Let's have a func called to dictionary method that is going to return for me a string, a dictionary of string to any object like this, any. Okay, and all we want to return over here is we want to turn, return these information except our profile image. Why do we want to do that? Because later on we want to have in our database, okay? In our database, I'm going to delete this. Let me delete these. Oh, for example, so uh, in our data uh, database, I want to have the user UID somewhere over here. And then the value, I want to have some key value pairs. So the key value pairs, something like UID is this UID right here, I want to store that. And then how about another key value pair, I want to have the username is Duke Xuan. I want to have another key value pair for our email is support at dukeshuan.cl, which is our support email. You can contact our team there. And then we have the full name is Duxuan like that. Okay, so that is the data structure that we want to create. It's pretty much like this. Cool. And then the profile picture, we are going to store that way. All right, we're going to store that in our storage because the storage, remember, we already do that in the last video, in the last training. We store all of the images via this helper methods, FIR image. Remember that? Cool. Okay, so let's have the return the dictionary. Here I'm going to construct this dictionary using the UID, again, the key value pair. Remember this? Key value pair, UID, username, full name, and username. So UID is UID, username is username, uh, what is that? Full name is full name, and email. Email address is email, like this, cool? Okay, now in order to save this thing, we just have to write a method called save, like that, okay? And then let's have the reference to our database. So let's have the reference to our database because what are the two steps? What are the two steps that we need to do in order to save anything or delete anything from Firebase to from the database, real-time database? Yeah, step number one, you need the reference to the database. And number two, you save it. You set the value of the reference, right? So number one, reference to the database. Let's ref equals to our database reference, which is our enum that we write in uh, two or three videos ago. And then the users, we have to provide our UID, our UID. And then we have the reference, right? Okay, and then step number two, what do we do? We just set the value of the reference here. I want to set the value of this to dictionary. So this will set us, return for us this dictionary right here. Yeah, you can actually just copy paste here because uh, it doesn't matter, but I just want to refactor out our code because what if you want later on, you have a bunch of other properties over the user class. And I don't want to like just look at look for these because maybe I use that same dictionary somewhere else. So let's have ref dot set value of our two dictionary like this, or you can call self dot two dictionary. But because it's already a uh, method, so I don't have to do the self. Okay, now what else do we miss? What is the step number three? Okay, we have to save the user's profile image. Remember, thinking about it, this is the first time that we are going to create a new account, right? So we create a new account, we change the profile image, we have the username, we have the full name, username, and the password. We will not have to store our password because Firebase authentication is going to take care of that. But we need to save these informations so that later on we can access that in our database. Because 
Um, later on, you, when uh, in the next training, we're going to talk about saving uh, authenticate users. Actually, is um, we we can only authenticate users in Firebase by default. Only save here's the piece of information. Only save your username. I'm sorry, your email address and the password. So it doesn't save the profile picture, it doesn't save the full name, it doesn't save the username. That's why we have to do all of these work before we actually authenticate the users. Okay, makes sense, right? So now let's save the user profile picture. So let's have if let the profile image is our self.profile image. If we do have we want to check if we have the profile image or not, because this is an empty uh, an optional. Okay, so let's check if we have the profile image or not. If we do have that, let's have FIR image to be an FIR image with the type of image is the profile image like this. And then in order to save this thing, we have to write in another 10,000 lines of code. No, it's just FIR image dot save profile image. And then we have to provide the UID, so UID, which is this UID right here, right? Belongs to this user. And then the completion handler, here we have the error, right? Now this completion handler is called whenever the profile image is successfully fully uploaded. Now this text tab. This text tab, it can be one second, it can be 10 seconds, it can be forever, it can be errors, it can never happen because there's network error or, or Firebase uh, is broken down, who knows, right? Or Amazon can broken down, Google broken down. It's the same for Firebase, nothing is certain on the web for technology. So, huh, this is going to be weird because we have a callback for this closure but we are inside our save function over here, our save method. Because someone who has an instance of this user who calls this save image, this save method, will never have the information of this callback. Huh. So we should have, um, what do we should have? Uh -huh. We should have a completion for our escaping with the um, was that the argument is an error optional that returns void like this. Now why do we have to do this? Because we are going to call completion error over here. And by the way, the completion here is this met this closure right here. If you don't know about closure, please, please check out Total RS Blueprint. I, I believe that there will be some link over here for you. And in that program, I explained so much more about Swift because this thing is uh, pretty much basic in uh, Swift. All it means is that it is a, I think I explained that in the last training, all it means is that a function that you pass around in Swift, okay? Now, of course, Clojure has so much more power. You see that somewhere in JavaScript, you see that somewhere in Python, it's so much more powerful than that because Swift is new and the Apple updates it <laughs> almost every year. Cool. So now we call this thing and it will call back. So that is my friend all it takes to create this user class. So now our job left is to test it, this thing out. So I'm going to have, um, let's delete this line of code over here in the app delegate. So let's have let user to be an user and we want to use this thing over here. Okay. Now this UID, are we going to generate it ourselves? The, huh, the secret is we will not generate it ourselves. Firebase will allow will help us to generate a random ID for our user, a unique random ID for every user. Each user has a random ID. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to talk about that in the next training. So here, let's just have a random UID somewhere like that. Okay, we don't have to care about it because we're testing. So the username, let's have Duke Chan, the profile image, UI image, with a named, UI image, with a named of Duke, like this, right, UI image named, the uh, support, 
Enduction.cl. By the way, this is the way that you can test things. So let's try that. Okay. And then all we have to do is count user dot save. Oops. Like that. Okay, let's build the project. Uh, value type your image. Oh, let's ungrab this thing. And run it. Ha! Completion. Oh, we missed the argument for the completion. So user dot save. And we have the completion here. We have the error. So here I'm just going to print out this error if we do have one. Cool. Oh, we have some errors over here. Value of type. Oh, okay. So this is belongs to potential over here. This is belongs to the post struct. You don't have to worry about that. It's just some dummy data that I put out there so that we can have some data to work with. Okay. So all you have to do is go back into the user class here. And then instead of this dummy thing, the profile image, let's have that as an optional. And everything should go away. Here we go. We succeeded. Run it. Do we run it? I think we are running it, right? Oh, here we go. So let's have this. Ah, see that it's, it happens really fast. So I hope that you catch that. So we have the random thingy, right? So exactly like our app delegates, we do it over here. And then we have one. Explain this thing. We have the email is support.cl, the full name, UID username. All right, so I, that is how you create your user class. Notice that all the code that we have been creating from this lesson on to the first one, and this lesson toward the end of this course, you can use these code and these resources anytime that you want to have user login, in, sign up, even that. Uh, model classes that you want to use. It's just like we create once, we use it everywhere else in your course, in your app, in any project that you want to use with Firebase. So I hope that you enjoy this and let's move on into our very near last lesson in which we'll talk about how to sign up users and then log in and then use one time login. I'll see you in the next one.